I wonder if you can cheese it by switching preemptively or if the seasons aren't quite set. Maybe the season changes to the next season when you go on the boat. Uh, that, yeah? Because it, it probably, it doesn't take you a yeah, month Yeah, because what sea. day is it? It is... Licks. It is the... 59. Yeah, 59. Which is too early for our projections. And it was absolutely winter when we left. Oh, look, there are bridges here. Yeah. Season based on overall days. Winter happens around day 48 and ends at 64. Yeah, so we've... Oh, no, here it comes. So I guess it just doesn't season right. I think it just defaults to whatever season. Can you get the... No, you're out of money. Okay, and that is a chest full of money, so I want nothing to do with that. Oh, I don't have enough money. It looks like this is going to be prime farmland right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice farm. Right next to a camp. So if we can en enclose it all in a wall, which we should be able to because there's the boat. Yep. That's the boat. Ooh, a treasure chest with a bunch of gems. I'm gonna need to find something to spend my gems uh, on. We should find the lizard here. So if you see, if you see the-, the I see the iron works. That, but that just takes money. Oh no. So you don't have enough. Uh, which is this one? This looks like don't. an armor. Yeah, yeah, that's- Whoa, portal. I'm going back now. Yeah. Because it's almost sunset. Oh yeah, and there was Celine Dion. Of course she was on it. They probably had I think Reba McIntyre. Apart and from a bunch Carol's, of other ladies. my family has just straight up never done most Christmas music. Of course there was a lot of Elvis Christmas music at home because I my think dad's my main a problem is Elvis just fan. a lot of Christmas music is inherently repetitive, and so I usually kind of lose interest in it. Well, what was your favorite one? Like, what tune did you like the most of all the traditional ones? Because I, I can understand don't. why Jingle really? Bells is abrasive. I mean, like, Silent and Night is kind of nice. Really? Silent Night's a little slow. I'd I always liked this. Emmanuel the most, just because it has a very haunting melody. Do you know what really got me, though? Hmm? Like, I love watching the Home Alone movie around Christmas time. Just, I mean, maybe it's because we grew up in the 90s, but absolutely love it. And it always haunted me. By the way, there's a money chest on the left. Oh. So you should... Do you have enough money for that? I have too many... Gems? I have too many gems. Okay. Uh, Why don't you just go left, Shell? Okay. Or here, drop some on me. I'll upgrade the base. And uh, I, I just really liked that choir's rendition of Oh Holy Night. Mm hmm. What do you think? Should we go for... Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough for interest. That's the bear. Eh. It makes me wonder, is that going to be a sun bear? Or, because what kind of bears do they have in... In Asia. It's not going to be a panda bear. Because pandas aren't even bears, technically, correct? Feels like it would be a bit of a gimme. Anyway, there's your there's your money chest right there. Oh. Money! I wouldn't recruit too hard yet. Okay. That's fine. Just because we are... Oh, did we hit winter? This is well, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so it didn't skip that season. Keep going left. Keep going left. Really? Yeah, oh, just get I'm your just stamina. I'm running out back. of food. My poor, my poor. We stag. need to find stuff to spend our gems on. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. 
Oh no, this is another just gem chest. Just don't stop for it. Just sprint past it. Like, stop, 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 stop. Or right, there you go. Okay, and turn around. Oh man, yeah, that's the end. Okay. That's it. I only have this gem chest on this side. We really, we literally only have the army dude and the bear to spend money on. Unless you go further. I'm gonna try going further. Cause yeah, the this guy is useless. Okay, I got past it. There should be the salamander around here. Mm. Hmm. I suppose it's difficult to make a new Christmas classic, I mm -hmm. suppose. See, I'd almost rather have music that kind of evokes the theme of Christmas without being, like, repetitive. Because I find most are just extremely repetitive. Mm -hmm. Most of the deer from the forest followed me back and got slain for it. Oh. Well, we're gonna need it. We have no income over here. Like, you... Yeah. If we're lucky, that'll get us the, uh, the banker. Because if we have the banker, we can dump money on him and just feed off of interest. Uh... Let's see if he comes out. We might need one more. I'd go to the- all the way to the right tomorrow, shall- Like, <laughs> after- after the wave. Oh, okay. Um... You want me to go back down there? You're way faster than I am. For what? What do you want me to look at? Salamander. Oh, okay. Because he should be on this island. True. Unless he's... Wait, because are we on island four? Four. Hmm. And so if he's not on this island, then he's going to be on the next? At which point we'll have the unicorn... The unicorn and the salamander purchased yeah. on the same island. I think what we should have done was actually gone back to island one. And gotten the archery shrine. Yeah, then our archers would have been better off. Okay. Hmm? Uh superheroes. Let's let's bastardize some superheroes. Oh no. Well, okay. Okay, so first off, superheroes, many of them are based off of animals. What would be the well I mean sloth man, what would they be? A <laughs> sloth man. Well, no. <laughs> Slothman could either be really, really awesome or really, really mediocre. Uh, if he was like a Megatherodon, uh, Slothman becomes like... Would he just like, have giant claws but move at half the speed of Wolverine? Like, what's the deal? Megatherodons are incredibly fast. Really? I'm gonna just buy the bear. Uh, preemptively. Because... Mm -hmm. But it is a sun bear, look! Yeah. I was right, it was if a sun bear. Don't open the gem chest. Yeah. Like, we might straight up come back for the gem chest. If there's no dragon here, uh, we should probably just not open any gem chests if possible. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, That's... Uh, that looks like a dragon. Something, yeah. Feed him some gems. I'll save up the money. There we go. What do you look like? It's probably just like a blue version. Yep. A little lazy. Yep. Blue and yellow. With m taller spikes? That branch off a little bit? Yeah, sort of branchy spikes. Okay. Oh, and there you go. And that's so you should lead those deer back to their deaths if possible. They're following me quite yep. staunchly. Okay, so Slothman would be either really, really boring or really, really rad. Maybe it'd be one of those where uh, don't don't spend more money, Shell. Okay, sorry. We straight up don't have an income. They'll follow you. Okay. They're slower than you, but they will follow you forever, which actually is good because you should go on the other side of our base 
And, and if we're lucky, they'll, they'll just sprint the straight through. There you go. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, Tin Man just becomes copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, Mr. Illumina. <laughs> let's see, Mr. Fantastic. I mean, obviously, you could just switch it to Mr. Mediocre. <laughs> he, he still stretches, but he's, like, floppy and, like, unsatisfying. And that would probably mean... What, what was uh, what was Mr. Fantastic's wife called? What was her name? Wasn't she just... Susan? Yeah. I think her name was Susan. Storm. Susan Storm. There we go. She'd probably end up with... Um, or wasn't she also nicknamed the Invisible Woman? Yeah, but she, she'd probably if if Mister Fantastic was actually Mister Mediocre, then she'd probably end up with Doctor Doom, um, just because. <laughs> just make Mister Fantastic a fashion hero. <laughs> okay. I feel bad for those deer. They did not deserve this. And they're gonna die eventually anyway, but now it now it saves us. Somewhat. It also looks like we're getting spring-ish. Uh, let's see. Incredible Hulk. How, how about let's just switch one letter? How about that's easier, instead of a full word? How about the bulk? Well, you mean the Incredible Bulk? <laughs> I mean, ultimately, very similar. Uh, the, the Incredible Bulk is very large. He's very strong. He just doesn't move very fast. And, like, making him matter is harder. Uh... What else oh, were there? No. What? Just all the bad things you could make with Deadpool. Okay. Headpool. What would Headpool be? What? I don't know. Well, what else could he what, make? Would he have literally a, like an above ground pool as his head? <laughs> yeah, potentially. <laughs> 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 he belonged right with like Howard Duck and some other things. Well, I was. Uh, what else would there be? I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. There were of... there were others, but I wasn't going to mention it because uh, it was no, no. it was going along with the dung beetle thing again oh. with Deadpool. Oh, so just Deadpool <laughs> or Deadpool? You you realize I believe they use that as advertising. Really? Yeah. Okay. For how? Uh, when? For the the original Deadpool movie, uh, they're making fun of the emoji movie, was it? And they used like emojis, like the poop emoji, uh, which didn't make any sense, and it just made it look like dead poop. Lice man? Oh no. Oh. A suggestion. Um, because that would be that would be adding a word uh, as I mean, opposed that's, to changing a word. But yeah, no, it makes sense. He just gives his enemies lice. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> but these lice are far more invasive and malicious, and like really make your opponent's heads itch. Ooh, uh, the puny share. What do you mean? It's just share, but she's really small. <laughs> just has guns. Wait, what? The Punisher. Pun Punisher? Yeah, you know the Punisher. Yes. Oh, oh, hey, Banker's here. Nice. A spider's man. Oh. Oh, God, would he have just, like, <laughs> a spider on his head like a head crab? <laughs> oh. Where are you going, Shell? I don't know. Oh, is it night? It's getting there. Oh no, I'll be making my way back. I was getting distracted. 
Lice man. They'll be scratching their heads, but not from confusion. <laughs> My elementary school had a couple lice scares, and I always avoided them. That's... Oh, no, 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 they're following me. Uh, but it's probably because my hair was just too thick. Supposedly they like really thin hair. The, f the weird thing is lice liked thin and clean hair. Contrary to people's beliefs that people that are infested with lice have dirty hair. Uh, ooh, Miss Marvelous is just, uh, Doctor Strange's street performer cousin. <laughs> How about if you had Doctor Strange as Doctor Stranger? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Would he just like do house calls? Oh man, that'd be perfect. He he has the powers to know when you're like seriously ill but you don't know. And he'll like come into a house call uncalled for. That's horrifying. I love it. Nope. How about if Doomsday was like Doom's dad? Doom's dad? <laughs> I mean, he kind of supposedly is supposed to be. What? I think he Doomsday has a dad. Isn't a doesn't, dad? He have a, doesn't he have a son? Doomsday was some kind of monster experiment. Uh, depends which one you're going from. Uh, Doctor Stranger is just unrecognizable. <laughs> oh, everyone forgets who he is. <laughs> no, <laughs> if if, if you if you can't see him for ten minutes, you forget he exists. Ah, uh, what a what a tragic backstory for him then. No, that makes him the best spy ever. How, okay, well, how would he have acquired his powers? What would make him so strange? Uh, well, no, no, he's stranger. I know he's stranger. No, he is just he's just like the most boring person in existence. You know, bad comb over. Like kind of worn brown really? suit. Really? I hmm, I have to be more cuz he he shouldn't be notable reasons. if he's Doctor Stranger. Like he's just he's just that guy that you kind of know. Like he looks inherently familiar to every single person that beholds him. But he uh, looks like wait he looks like no one and everyone at the same time yeah, somehow. Yeah, you know, kind of like your distant uncle that you might have seen at a, at a family reunion a long time ago, but you're not quite sure what his name is. Um. You know, you might, you maybe you passed him on the street earlier today, and like you think you looked him in the eyes, but you're not sure. And he's not like, he's not ugly, but he's not like attractive. He's just like absolute middle ground on anything. Sun setting soon, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. I think we're about to hit spring, which is good. We should probably stop soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanos tans 50% of the entire <laughs> universe with the snap of his suntan lotion lid. <laughs> Everyone wants to stop him anyway. <laughs> but can't. Except for uh, when Thor axes him in the chest, he does die, but not before giving Thor one hell of a tan. <laughs> okay. Uh... I got one. Switch around the characters in a movie. How do they fare? What do you mean by switch them around? Okay, so Ant Man, but instead of Ant Man, it's Thor. How would a, how would Thor do in the first Ant Man movie? He would probably just clobber the villain into <laughs> That's oblivion. That's a good point. Uh, I guess we haven't really seen Thor against Ant Man, so it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, at least Marvel. We're, we're let's limit ourselves to the Marvel Cinematic Universe because the comics get bonkers. Uh, Iron Man in the place of Ant-Man would be hilarious, cause, especially if he already has all of his gear and technology and stuff, because he'd more or less just show up, like, co-opt everything from Hank Pym and then just do it himself.
No, I thought that you had been like, what if the villain and the hero were switched? Oh, uh, I mean, like, what if the Green Goblin was the hero and Spider-Man was the villain? Oh, that one's tougher. Cause like it also well, kind of like let's like change their backstories and who they are as characters. So okay, so Spider-Man would so be Peter the nefarious Parker becomes... evil scientist that wants to hybridize himself with a spider and spread a toxin across the city to make other people spider people. Sort of like oh. what the lizard was doing. Uh, Shell, we have hit spring. Yeah, yay, spring. So time to start expanding and doing whatever. So you want to take the right side? I'll take the left. Yes. Or... That's fine. Okay. Right, you're going to go for the farm. And would the Green Goblin then be more of like a trickster gadgeteer? Yeah. At that point? Yeah, but Freak Accident gave him uh, green skin and... Well, hmm, because there's different Green Goblins too. Okay, so we'd we'd have to do a little bit of switcheroonie because the Green Goblin's uh, mutagenic whatever drove him loony. Oh shoot, we don't have enough hammermen for this, do we? Oh no, we might be okay. Yeah, it'd take a while to clear out. There's a ton of trees, but fortunately, we get money back for it. I just realized we only have. Uh, can you can you go buy a hammer or two? Sure. Because we actually don't have enough to go around. And I'm building a wall out here and you're chopping trees. Then I'll make more. Yeah, buy like two if you can. We'll probably have to go with a uh, just basic palisade wall. Well, on I mean, this if side. you think about it, aren't most the villains in Spider-Man that aren't thugs? Aren't the majority of them scientists? Some of them even mentors to Peter. Yeah. So a, a lot of them are. So for so example, it's like they really could have been on the same path or in different yeah, circumstances. Yeah, but almost almost all of them went loony. So Doctor Octopus in the most recent game was actually a, a good guy initially. You know, he's doing all of these prosthetics to help people. Mm -hmm. uh, but because he's he's hasty because Osborne's kind of rushing him, and he wants to prove Osborne wrong, he's like, I'm just going to do it the quick sloppy way. And Peter's like, by the way, this will give you, like, crazy brain damage. Like, literally, it's going to drive you insane and stuff. And he's like, I don't care! Screw Osborne! And it, like, goes really bad. And it's like, what were you thinking, Dr. Octavius? You could have just handled this like just waited for Peter for like a smidge and then everything would have been okay but no I'm a little mad I actually really like the stories where Doc Dr. Octopus is a good guy yeah I, I did like the ones where he had a I don't want to say like the whole like tragic backstory thing but because what was it he was trying to make some kind of weird nuclear reactor in the second movie of the mm -hmm. old yeah, franchise, but it, like, and it blew up and it killed his wife. Yeah. And it also damaged him, like he was paralyzed from the waist down or something, right? Or was that I'm not no? Even, uh, no, he wasn't paralyzed in that one. No, he was using the arms to handle. And they got fused And they got with fused him. to his back. That's what happened. And I remember. And that drove him loony. Yeah, because they. He could hear them. They had, like, a special AI that he had programmed. Like, they could interface with him, but in order to interface with him, they needed to be intelligent themselves. Something weird like that, you know? So, to go back to the question, if Spider-Man was the competent villain and Green Goblin was the plucky teenager, uh, mutate, uh, trying to find his way in the world and thrust into a situation beyond his abilities, I don't... I don't think uh, amateur Green Goblin would be able to handle evil Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man specifically is one of the stronger street heroes, uh, and the only reason why that like the only reason why Green Goblin is ever able to even it do was well the tech. is it's the combination between the tech and the fact that um, 
that Peter Parker is is new and like attached to things. But if if like if Peter Parker had like funding of a whole corporation and like a will to do evil and you know the competence to do as such, because ninety percent of the time, you know, the the villain is more competent than the hero. Ish. They're supposed to be. You know, Otherwise, there's the, no tension of. They've got the the un, bigger because it's uncertain. Yeah, because effectively, Spider-Man has limited foresight. You know, stronger than most brawlers. You know, obviously not as strong as like. Everyone Hulk. finds out the identities of his girlfriend, his uh, his aunt, and then use that as tools against them. Like, I think that's even a plot point at some point where where like a villain confronts peter because he realizes peter's been holding back this entire time and more or less peter punches him once and like wrecks him mm -hmm. would it be like craven craven would be the type to do it something might have been like craven, that but yeah yeah the only reason why it doesn't waste a lot of people is because he holds back yup That yeah. would kind of be like Superman if Superman wasn't constantly fighting intergalactic space monstrosities. Mm -hmm. They had to really amp up the the ante because in the originals, he was just facing common criminals and mad scientists. Yeah, the problem is like you have to kind of provide an ample threat for your character. And the reason why Peter Parker is always tied to Aunt May, Mary Jane, blah, 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 is because... They needed to give Peter Parker, uh... Well, someone a, to save. Well, too. yeah, it's his kryptonite, which is part of the reason why I get a little bit sick of that situation a little bit, because it's just like, I'm so mm -hmm. tired of... Well, that's why in some of the later comics, they're just like, yeah, he's broken up with Mary Jane Except for then he ends up with, like, some new relationship thing, and then there's also... Yeah, because Mary... didn't they have him with oh, Kitty Pride? what have I done? Oh no, all your men! What? I wasn't even paying attention to what. You're gonna lose time your crown if you're not was. careful. Well, I guess I'll go buy some hammers. <laughs> yeah, because in. Was it the Ultimate series where they had Spider Man dating Kitty Pride? Yeah, and then died. Yeah, he died. And then they retconned that out of existence. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, well, I mean, they were probably going to get rid of the Ultimates universe anyway. I that's one thing I don't like about the uh, the Marvel comics series. They it's have, like mm -hmm. they have no consistency. They come up with this new universe to make it interesting, but then throw it away immediately. Well, maybe not immediately, but throw it away. I'm almost interested in seeing what they've done with the new X-Men movies past Days of Future Past. Because we saw up to Days of Future Past, right? But we haven't seen anything past that. Yeah. Uh, which was just Apocalypse and maybe another one? There were, aren't they doing the Dark Phoenix one yet? Or soon? I or straight something? up don't even remember, unfortunately. Let's see. Didn't Dr. Octopus steal Spider-Man's body then accidentally kill the first person he fought because he didn't know how strong he was? Uh, that was in one of the versions. That was Superior Spider-Man, which is actually, like, straight canon as opposed to... There was also a version where Dr. Octopus marries Aunt May in an attempt to... What was it? I don't even know. It was definitely caused a crisis with Peter. Yeah. Or was it Osborne that married May and then was resurrected? Or ah, uh, there were so many. There's a couple of weird, bad weird butt realities. nonsense. Um, let's see, ones that I specifically remember. I guess the canon one currently is uh, J. Jonah Jameson's dad is married to Aunt May. He must be old. It was Doc Ock that. Married anime. It was Doc Ock? Okay. okay. Superior Spider-Man is one of my favorites. I liked it, and I hated it. Because it was... It was good, but it was also really awkward. Do you know what's sad? Most of the... Most of the Spider-Man comics I've read were... 
from the 70s and the 80s. That's not sad. <laughs> well, it's it's one of those things where I'm not up to date on the new versions I mean, quite so, so much the, because I thing. grew up with all of the old stuff that I my dad tried had. I tried staying up to date. Like, back when the Spider-Man came out in September, I bought back into the Marvel uh, online archives mm -hmm. and then gave up. Because I couldn't even figure out what was canon well, anymore, what was even mainline. Because yeah. they keep retconning the universe uh, and, like, rebooting. So imagine if Spider-Man went, like, 600 chapters and then rebooted itself as Amazing Spider-Man. Did about 30 chapters with that. Then became Spectacular Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Then did about 50 of that and then went back to the previous numbering system. And... Trying to sort through all of that on the, like, on the website for Marvel Comics is, like, it's kind of hell. I kind of hate it. Yeah, no. I, I suppose my experience with the old comics were... It, it seemed like a lot of them were PSAs to tell children not to, say, smoke. There was the well, one yeah, where... Well, yeah, they used to be power... much more as episodic. Wow, yeah. that was loud. Oh, sorry. I was about to say P for Power Man. Mm -hmm. um, it was when... Well, Power Man's Luke Cage, right? Yeah. Yeah, they had him Power Man. He was wearing the yellow shirt, the silver headband and everything. Yeah, so I think I've told this story before, but Power Man and Spider-Man teamed up in one of the comics that my dad has. One of the few comics that my dad has of Spider-Man where there was this villain called Smokescreen and he was trying to get all of the inner city kids in New York City to like from the specific track team to smoke cigarettes and our man it's and spider-man well yeah they end up breaking into the guy's place and the only ability this guy has is to just drop smoke bombs on mm -hmm. the ground and obscure himself so they just knock him out in a in a jiffy and then they scold the kids and you know Encourage them to be healthy and Just such. make sure you don't uh, crash this camp. Okay, I'll also, try not to. Also, I think our hermit got got grabbed. But hey, it's not as bad as Bicycle Man. Yeah. My, my teachers enjoyed Bicycle Man, though. Because I brought it into school. <laughs> to uh, When we had our bicycling segment of our outdoors course. And the lady, um, my teacher at the time, was actually really happy with it because it was essentially giving all the instructions on road safety that was required for uh required for the course yeah yeah pretty much yeah now i can finally build this oops i probably shouldn't have not until i put up a proper wall, wall somewhere here no, this is still considered part of the forest. No. Oh no. Where in the world would I build the next wall? The forest is endless. Wander what? Where? How? I don't know. Also, we might have to go on some crusades before we get that farm. Good god, this is a lengthy trip to get the salamander. Is the salamander at the end? Yep. Oh, yeah. Here he is. Please have enough. Now, if you don't want me to cut down that camp, unfortunately, it's... I'm going to have to start cutting from the opposite end of the forest. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Um, crusades? Mm. Ah, shoot. Oh no. Are you getting pummeled? Fire! Fire! Yeah, they're gonna take all my gems. Oh no, we need those gems. Just run away. 
Actually, they might be coming past you. Yeah, I didn't realize it was nighttime. Wander. Well, How many I gems set did them they on take? fire. So, shh, the real question is, did they go through the portal? Or are they coming your way? They probably went through the portal. Uh, it's fine, because this is, this is where we get iron anyway. Let's just go get the gems. True, it's just, aren't the gems in limited quantities? Yeah, but we get them back. We get them back if we defeat this. Mm -hmm. You mean? Yeah, I should have dropped the gems on you. Sorry. I just, I did not process how far you have to run mm -hmm. to get the salamander. Because it is actually absurdly far. I mean, are you sure you wouldn't want to switch to crosscode? We should switch to crosscode. It's it's time to switch to switch to crosscode. I just wanted to get the salamander. Mm-hmm. It's funny. It it has sort of those branching spikes on its back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he does not have much stamina. Nope. That's why I couldn't run out. I really wish you could actually save gems at the uh, at this. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. Okay, save and save? quit. Save and quit. Save and quit. 